Hi guys, my name is Arya and I'm going to be your instructor for this course today. So in this ethical hacking full course video, we'll be learning almost everything that is required for you to get started as an ethical hacker. So come, let's quickly go over the topics that we are going to be covering today. Firstly, we're going to be going through the basics of cybersecurity and cryptography, where we'll be learning the key concepts of confidentiality, integrity and availability, and how the cryptographic concepts also tie into the whole picture. Next, we'll be looking at some cyber threats. We'll be seeing how these cyber threats actually affect our computer and then we'll also see how we can mitigate them. After which, we'll be looking into the history of ethical hacking. We'll learn how this all began in the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and then we'll be looking into the fundamentals of networking and ethical hacking. In this, we'll be learning the various tools that are used in ethical hacking and also the network architectures that these tools are used in. After this, we'll be having a look into one of the most famous operating systems that is there, that is Kali Linux. Kali Linux is used by ethical hackers and penetration testers all around the world. We'll be learning how to install this on our local systems, we'll be learning the tools that come along with it and where we should be using them. After that, we'll be learning about penetration testing. And penetration testing is a subset of ethical hacking. So in this, we'll be learning about a tool called Metasploit and using Metasploit, we'll be learning more about vulnerability analysis and how we can install backdoors in different computer systems and take advantages of these vulnerabilities. Now, NMAP is also another tool that we are going to be discussing in this course. We'll be learning how we can use NMAP to gather information from our networks and how we can use this information to our advantage. After that, we'll be learning deeply about three cyber attacks that are there in this industry. First is cross-site scripting, secondly, distributed denial of service, and thirdly, SQL injection attacks. Now, we'll be doing these attacks ourselves on dummy targets and learning more about these attacks and how they're orchestrated. And thus, we'll be learning more about how we can mitigate them if we actually become ethical hackers. Now, we'll also be discussing some very advanced cryptographic methods called steganography, which is basically used for hiding digital code inside images. Last but not the least, we'll be also discussing how you could become an ethical hacker yourself. So we'll be discussing a roadmap, we'll also be discussing the job profiles that are there in the industry, and we'll also be discussing the companies that are hiring for these job profiles along with the salaries that they are trying to offer. Also, we won't be leaving you hanging right there, we'll also be discussing the 50 most common interview questions that come along with these job profiles so that you can snag that job interview. And if you do like our content in the end, please leave us a like, 